Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode three in our series of Airport CEO, our second season. We are starting off where we left off in our last episode, where we got Avgas for General Aviation in, and we have nine aircraft stands for General Aviation, eight of which are regularly in use, and we have two. Uh, one of them just went into our depot, but we have two 100 LL AV gas refueling trucks. We also have a very recalcitrant piece of road down here, which we couldn't delete and still can't. So there you go. It just is going to be there forever. Right. <clears throat> so in this episode, we are looking at building our first commercial stands and getting our airport ready for commercial traffic. So we're going to get on and do that. First of all, uh, actually, no. Yes, first of all, we're going to put our taxiway foundation in. <clears throat> and oddly enough, we're going to start up here. Uh, so that we get our bearings when we head down south. We're going to drop down one. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, five. And we're going to come out. Seriously. Okay, now you're just being difficult. Just downright ornery difficult. But that's going to be one, two, three. Three, four, five, yep, okay. Very good. <clears throat> uh we're going along at one speed, yeah. No, we don't we're not talking about doing a fuel depot. Seriously, come on. <clears throat> okay, now here, here's a different animal. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Right, that's so we can identify you. Why have we left the gap in there? Well, why not? That's actually the official answer that I'm going to give you on this one because you never know what we might do with that. And if we've got space, we can use it. And if we don't have space, well, then we're too constrained and we've got no room to uh, change things up a bit. So we're, we're still doing taxiway and we're still there. Now, my plan in this is to have two aircraft stands that are connected to our terminal, uh, but we want to leave enough space down here so that we can put in, if we want, another truck depot and possibly another fuel service. So we're just going to wait on that for a little bit. Well, now what we're going to do is something cunning and somewhat devious. So standard runway is five. Uh, runway. Uh, standard taxiway is five. So we're going to go two, three, four, five. Right there. And notice how close we are. One, two, three, four, five in. Okay, we're just going to do that. And then down here, while that's all going on, we're going to start setting up some more infrastructure, i.e. bus stops and car drop-offs. Um, now, in terms of bus stops, I think that's as good as it... Up, possibly going to get. Okay, we'll just come up there. Now, I would like to put a pedestrian crossing in. If I could actually get my hands to be steady enough and it could work. Yes, okay. Then I'd like to put in a car drop-off point or two. So that will be one, and that will be two, 
And then we're going to put in some pedestrian access stuff. Pedestrian access stuff is good. Ah. Now, on this side of the world, we just want to join those up so they can get to the pedestrian crossing. Same here. So I'm going to assume that the car stop can walk across the back of the bus stop. Uh, but just to make sure we do have space, I'm going to do this all the way up to here and also start you all the way up there so that we've got a marker so that we don't build over this area because later on we may want a pedestrian access path up there possibly even a road access actually that's a good plan and because it's a good plan so we're going to go two so it'll be one two yep i'm okay with that but we still need one on this side you know what let's um let's make let's reserve a bit more of this than otherwise we may have needed to by doing that okay so taxiway all the way up here is connected or done waiting to be built this taxiway is started now what we also need here um where is it not there that's for sure it's here right i'm going to make you two more bigger because i can and then i'm going to branch you one two three four five like that now that's odd you say why would you do that because we're going to put an aircraft stand in you cunning and devious people you and we're going to put our aircraft stand right there and we're going to put another one right there um what i hear you cry how can this be well it can be because it's snowing again and who doesn't like snow well it turns out that everyone here who is with me on this side of the building an airport thing like snow see what we've done here we've got one access two stands now these two stands are the two stands i want to connect to our airport and other stands which will be up here somewhere in an undisclosed fashion yet will be remote stands so this demarks where our terminal building is going to be so let's just go and deal with that right now so first of all it we go from our stands down to our pedestrian walkway and we go across how far across do we want to go actually you know what we can go all the way across if we want because nothing else is going there I'm comfortable with that sort of yeah okay that's that's good right what I think we're going to end up with is um, is now we've got a lot of room over here let's just check this out size wise size wise what an interesting turn of phrase that is size wise size wise size wise aircraft infrastructure a fuel depot medium size we have got quite a bit of room all right let's let's first of all keep defining our infrastructure area so that we know where our limitations are and I think that might constrain us a bit too much. So let's do this. How 
How does that appeal to everybody? I think that's got some appeal. So I'm feeling a baggage pickup area out here. That's what I'm feeling. And security services in here. So you know what? While we're at it, let's just get it set up. So, we exit the building. Okay, we come out of our stands, blah, 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 blah. We come down here. We go to exit. How much room do we want for baggage pickup? Probably that much. So, we would probably exit about there. Okay, and we'll do none. We won't do any of that, actually. We'll exit. We'll exit here. We will come out and down, and then we'll expand that later on. But that is basically going to be our exit point. So, well, if we exit in its in, okay, here, here's what we're going to do. All right. First of all, we're going to have a secure zone, and we're going to be including the walls so that um, any doors we put in will have security. We come, we miss one, we come down two. Okay? Who is not happy about that? Right, okay. So, up there, we go to security and we put in the secure checkout which is bigger than I thought it was going to be from memory. And immediately we realise that we have a wall in the way. Okay, we need to get down here and have a much better look at this. So we're talking about... Actually, we could stick it right there in the middle. Yep. And that's one from each end, okay? So let's first of all get this wall out of here. That was easy, right? Security, exit. And that's... Hmm. That's where our people leave from, to something. They're going away. But they have to come out there and go there. Yeah, that could work for us. That's the first thing. <clears throat> then I think this second thing is I think we should have our security check-in over this end our security checks over this end and our check-in desk down this end um, down this way and then no, across the top. Yeah, because we're not going to have... Well, are we going to have that many? Hmm. That's a good question. Don't know. All right. Well, well, we'll put some security in anyway. So security checkpoints. Uh, we're going to start with... What's medium cost? 10,000. Wow. We'll start with um, we'll start with small uh, because we can, and we might as well go. We might as well go all the way over. So we've got we've got two stands. So let's have three security. Then we'll go to desk, and we've got check-in desk. We want check-in desk. Yeah, we do. Now, we've got a couple of options here. I think we should go with the option that back the back the security desks. Just because I think we should. So we could have a queue of one, two, three. 
a space in the middle, another one. One, two, three, then one, and then a space in the middle. Yep. I think that's the way we're going to go. One, two, three, three. One, two, two and a bit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then we're going to have another one uh, directly behind it. Well, backing onto each other anyway. That's the plan. Okay. Now, up here, between these guys, we should put something like a wall because eventually... We're going to have that anyway, because, and we're going to redevelop this when we put the medium in anyway, so there, that's all going to be fine and good. Now, however, up here, this is not going to change. What's going on there? Stop it. This is not going to change. So up to this point, well, actually, let's be, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a wall, right? We can we can always change our wall. Just, just stay calm, and there won't be any trouble. Okay. Oh, and the other thing we need to do is we need to get some more contractors going here. We've got 20. We have 40 available. Let's, uh, let's bring this up to 40, and that will be a big help to us. All right, and now I think we can ramp up the speed because we know what we're doing. Well, you know, I say that, but, of course, there's no guarantee that I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> it's just that I say that. Okay, now the other thing we'll need to do is we'll need to... Um, we'll Oh, that's another thing we need. See, we need to do, and then there are things that we need to do. So... We should do the things we need to do, and they are join these two stands up by putting the service road in the middle. Otherwise, it might not work very well. Two check-in desks, an exit. Uh, well, yeah, now there's a go. You're going to exit everyone into a room they can't get out of. Good thinking. Well, who didn't want to do that? All right. We, we've selected, no, we select you, thank you, and then we are going to put you in like that. Very good. Now, people coming in and people going out need, oddly enough, doors. Yes, sirry, Bob. Uh, now, we want them to get out quite uh, quite quickly, so we'll put two there. Now, this, 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 we want people coming in from everywhere. So I'm going to go with every. Oh, snow! One, two, three. I like snow. One, two, three. Am I skipping three or putting it on the third one? I'm putting it on the third one. Three. One, two, three. One, two. No, I don't think so. That should be fine anyway. All right. We've got doors so people can get in and out. We've got an exit. People leave. We've got entrances. People get security checked. We've got check-ins. We don't have boarding desks, and we don't have doors there. So how about we do that right in the middle i.e. there. That's looking good. We can put a boarding desk in like that. And of course, if the boarding desk faces the right way, that would work. Um, I might I might bring the boarding desk out um, because I might. Okay, so we've got boarding desk. We've got stands. Um, any minute now, Oh, no, it's going to be a long minute now. Look at how much of the taxiway is left to do. All right. I think that we should start 
just take this moment and do a bit of maintenance. $950,000, right? 88. No, 80s, we're fine there. Okay. Very good. All ahead full. 40 guys are out building things. Buses are coming in, dropping things off. Hopefully not robots, but people. And um, we're getting along. Uh, we should actually clean up our mail while we... Oh, look at this. No, man. Golden opportunity. Nope. Golden opportunity. Nope. Emptying trash. Oh, that's trash. Inbox. Trash. Inbox overview. Uh, receipt. Receipt. We want the receipt, as it turns out. All airfield tutorial unlock. That's saved messages. No, we're all right there. Inbox. No, get rid of you. Inbox. Get rid of you. You. And you. And the inbox is empty. Okay, very good. Right, meanwhile, down here, <clears throat> things are progressing. Uh, but we have no staff. I think that's probably something we should do now, is have a look at employees, uh, of which, of course, we have none. So, airports, okay, let's, um, let's be a little bit selective. First of all, we want airport staff. Look at the red... Dooley, dooley. Well, we don't get much of a choice, do we? So we got one, two. Wow. Three, four. That's four airport staff, right? So now we need security. Um. I'm going to go with one and two and three. Ooh, she's actually pretty good and four. Uh, then I think we'll probably need a ramp agent or two. Let's get two. Um, I'm kind of liking these two guys because they seem to have the red in the right place. Uh, sorry, the green in the right place. The red in the right place. Well, that's not good. Okay, and um, at this stage, no janitors and no service technician. Okay, so we've got staff. Hopefully, they're going to come work at the appropriate places. That would be quite useful. All right, how are we doing up here? We're still going along. Okay. We are going to go commercial, and we're going to go commercial there. That is good. We're going to start running the taxiway paths. Yeah. And um, any minute now, you will see the cunning and devious plan as it unfolds before your very eyes. Look at that. Did I not tell you, cunning and devious? Indeed, indeed. Well, uh, we can only go to there, so that's where we're going to go. Okay, well, so far, I think we're looking pretty good up here. We've got desks, actually, so we should be able... Actually, let's check our airfield runway. Airfield, runway, one of those things, 73. General aviation, commercial is active. Landing and takeoffs, very good. Um, but we have to wait till our taxiway is finished. Otherwise, we could be in a bit of trouble. Now, we do want our taxiways here to be one way. So let's just do that initially, right? 
So we're going to go to there and we're going to set it one way that way. Actually, we better... No, one way the other way. That way. Right. Okay, good. Back. Hate it when I do that. Like, you press the wrong button. you got fingers over the keyboard and you just press the wrong button. All right, now, we, we should actually be able to activate our stands. We can. We can't do that here because I think we still need some of this work to be done. There you go. Now I think we could do it. Yep. Okay. They're active. Right. But we need this to be complete. And we can complete our taxiway path. That's looking pretty neat and tidy, I reckon. Well, we've got two, two commercial stands. Um, they're in and ready to go. And uh, two bus stops and two car drop-off points. But we are still waiting for this taxiway up here. So uh, I, think, I think we're going to be all right to get our um, airport up to and including... The ability to receive snow. No, the ability to receive commercial flight. Okay, we've got, we got that tiny little square there. I wonder how these guys are doing building in the snow. I don't imagine it's the sort of thing you'd want to work on as a regular thing. Be like work, Because the snow comes down, it'd be like working in mush, I imagine. All right, guys, we need to move this along a little bit. Okay, here you guys are doing stuff up there. Let's just quickly come down here for a minute and uh, see what we can do here. I think I might... I think I might just come down here and do a little bit of decoration um, as you do. So we'll... We'll put a small... I like cycads. I do like cycads, actually. I've got one in the backyard. Well, in fact, I've got two. Because I like cycads. They're really nice. Okay, we've got cycads. So um, that's, of course, going to make it much better for people to go through security. Right? You're going to want that. Um, do we have enough airport staff? Let's just double-check that for a minute. How are we doing airport staff-wise? No uh, ramp agents, no. Airport staff. Well, we've got some more. Um, yeah, I I think I will... No, wait a minute. Applicants. Yeah, that's better. Um, oh, that you got to have him. And um, I'm, I'm not feeling this guy terribly much, but it's not too bad. All right, that's what we're going to do there. Um, I think we're ready. Oh, no, we've got to finish the taxiway. Uh, okay, we can do taxiways. Taxi pathways, as it turns out. Tick, tick, whir, tick, tick, whir. Right, a little bit more speed. Um, I, I would have to comment, though, for episode three, we've done pretty well, and I'm feeling a lot more confident about this build than I was the last series. Well, last series was my first run-through. But I'm feeling like I've got a better handle on it, and uh, we are hopefully going to end up with a much better situation. Um, just to repeat the plan, um, if we can, we're going to have an airport terminal building here. Another one over here. Now, this section over here, the plan is that this will be the medium, co 
commercial. And uh, if they unlock large commercial, then that will be up there. But that will be super exciting. So what we're going to do just here is that. Uh, I think we should just rename these. Um, what would this be? Small. Uh, I know. Commercial. And uh, it's actually on the west of the airport as far as I can see. Commercial West 1. That's a good name, right? Commercial West 1. Is that what it's called? Yep. And obviously, this is Commercial West do. Uh, 2. Right. Now, if we go to Flight Planner, we should have Commercial West 1 and Commercial West 2, but no airlines. So let's just go to Contracts. Uh, not procurement, offered contracts. And see what we've got. We've got airlines. We've got all. So we've got none from them. We've set that up. We uh, Actually, let's just double check something to make sure that we did have our taxi pathways in all the way in. Yep, okay. So I think we need to go up to dashboard, uh, go to operations, and airport is open, tarmac boats are on, allowed general aviation, yes. Allow ramp aid services, because we got some of those guys. And 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 now I'm stuck because I don't quite see how we get this. This stand accepts commercial flight. Attached stand. This stand is attached to a terminal. On GA stand, right? Okay. What am I missing? Am I missing contracts? Natural fuel and the construction company? Offered contract? Offered contract. Okay. Loans? No. Procurement? Accepted contract. Have I not done something? Have I not done something? Ah, hang on. Have I not done something? Let's check the tutorial. Construct terminal. Done. Terminal passenger flow. Done. Offices and decoration. Not done, but that should be okay. Hire staff. I've done that. Schedule your first flight. Well... Sure, but aren't you supposed to... All right, maybe they've changed it so that you can't... doesn't go to the next step until you've done these. All right, drag out a staff room. All right, I'm, I'm happy to do this. I'm, I'm happy to keep this going too until we actually get this operational. I'm happy to drag out a staff room and I'm happy to... Um, Staff, staff zone, staff room, right? I'm, I'm happy to drag out a... How about over here? That, that seem reasonable to everybody? Uh, in the secure zone? Sure. Eleven by... Eleven by sixteen? And um, a desk, wasn't it? No. Why not? Oh, see. Sieve like a memory. Build an office desk 
and any seating in the staff room and decorate by placing floors. All right. Uh, right. Build an office desk, seating, and decorate. Office desk, seating, and decorate. Right. Office desk. Staff. Staff. Office desk. Right. Well, in this particular room that has no walls, yeah, you go there and there and there. And uh, we probably need to put some seats in. I'm going to go with sofas, medium quality. Very good. I think that's the back of it. So we'll go one there, one there, and uh, one on the back of you. Uh, now put some floors in, because who doesn't like a good floor? Uh, floors. Okay, so, um, 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 um. I'm, I like the light colours. I'm going to go with light concrete in the front area. And then in the secure zone, so we know that they're secure. What did I just get to go? Light concrete floor. Maybe, um, maybe a light concrete floor like this one. And that way it can be a secure zone. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Definitely. I wonder if that's $3,600, roughly. Well, okay. Hardly tell the difference. Hardly at all tell the difference. Well... Wasn't very happy about that, was I? Okay. Regional airport. Yep, done all of that. Hire your staff. Hire four ramp agents. Ah. Four ramp agents. Hire four ramp agents. How many ramp agents do I have? Um, right. Staff overview. Filter by... Ramp agents, got two, that's why. Chef, applicants, need two more. Gosh, look at these guys. How bad are they? Holy dooly. Okay, all right. Well, we've hired four. All right. Schedule your first flight. You've got new application. First off, we need to sign a master contract with an airline. Yep. Economy, economy offered contracts. Right. Okay. So, contracts. Uh, offered contract. Let's try that again. Contract. Offered contract. Filter by all. Filter by airline. Filter by all. Hmm. All right. What? Let's just double check things for a minute. Email for golden opportunity. One, two, three, four. Nope. Not you. Economy. No. Staff. No. Operation. Airport open. Security is disabled. Tarmac lights are on. Baggage handling is on. Turnaround service control. Ramp agents. All that. Right. Okay. Nothing there about commercial. Okay. Go to there. Please check contract. Right. Contract. Offered contract, still no airlines. Mm-hmm, interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we may have uh, an operational airport, or we may not. 
depending on your point of view. Now, um, let's just slow this down for a second because I need a thumbnail. Um, so I'm going to go off camera and see why um, we have um, no contracts being offered for our airport because if we don't have any contracts, that's not going to be very good for running an airport. So that will need some investigation. So I thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you like this one, please press the like button. There's also a notification bell so that you can be uh, informed when new videos are posted on the channel. So until the next time, I wish you well, and it's bye for now.